Hey guys, David Hoffman here from davidsbringer.com in Brickell, Miami's financial district. Brickell is known for our tie rise condos, international banks, restaurants, shops, and hotels. I'm gonna show you the best dishes to eat in Brickell. This whole strip has changed. Before this was all empty. Parking lots, green grass, nothing. Now you have a real city. I love to get a townhouse right there. First up, we're headed to Coyo Taco to try Carnitas de Pato, which is a duck confit taco. They say it's one of the best tacos in Miami. Oh wow, dude. Perfect, thank you. All right, so we came here for the Carnitas de Pato, but the manager also insisted we try the grouper. So then I'm gonna start first with this one. Mmm. Oh my God. Wow, the duck's super tender. All right, so here we have the grouper taco. If the manager insisted. Oh my God, so crunchy. This is really good. I'm sure it's gonna be better with some hot sauce. Not too much. It's really hot. So I wanted to take you to one of the best views in Miami. I'm not gonna tell you where it is. No, I'm just joking. This is called Mille Cento Condo. You can see everything, look at all these buildings. And everything here is brand new. Right in front of us, we have Panorama Tower. That is the new tallest building in Miami, tallest building in Florida, and tallest building south of Manhattan. Next, we're headed to Yuzi to try some of the freshest sushi and sashimi in Brickell. All right, let's take a look at the process of how they put together this sushi and the sashimi. Yeah, you're very good at this. Easy, easy. <laughs> he said it's easy, but I've tried to make sushi before and that's not easy. All right, so here's the octopus. It's actually squid, no? Squid. Right, squid. So officially, this is squid, not octopus. Um, you know, we came here for sushi and sashimi, but this is one of their signature dishes. So the manager said, you gotta try it. It looks amazing. I've never seen a squid like this. Let's try one of these. Feels like I'm in Greece. Mmm, that sauce. Delicious. Over here we have sashimi. Salmon, tuna, and this white fish. I love salmon, so I'll go for the salmon. Yeah. So fresh. Pamela recommends drinking sake with sushi, so that's what we're gonna do. This is a $500 bottle, so oh, I love sake. Mm, super dry. Rice wine. For me, cold sake is the best. And, uh, you know, I'm supposed to pace myself here, but this tastes too good. This is some amazing sushi right here. I guess I'll just try with this guy first. Mm. I'm gonna try one of these. Oh, God. Caviar, all day. I don't know what they're buying or where they're buying it from, but the seafood here is incredible. It's like really amazing. God, I can just keep going. Why did they put a head here? Do I eat the head too? I guess I do. I haven't had this before. Mm. That tastes like the ocean. So fishy. <laughs> it's so good. The only thing I can tell you is if you're looking to eat sushi in downtown Miami or Brickell, come to Yuzi. This is amazing. All right, I'm done. I can't eat no more. Ready about leave. <laughs> I have one of these. Yeah, I got it in China. Next, we're headed into La Moon to try a Super Perro, which is a Colombian style hot dog with the works. I used to eat this late night. It's really good. So here we have the Super Moon Perro. As you can see, 
Uh, they put a lot of different sauces on it. They put this like uh, little chips, like french fries on top. They have a little egg here. And like I said before, I used to eat this late night because on the weekends, they're open till 6 a.m. So Friday and Saturday up to 6 a.m. If you're going out in Miami and you're in Brickell around 3 a.m., come here and try this. It's a little bit of a hot mess, but who really cares? Mmm, bacon, onions, egg, a lot of stuff in here. This is delicious. This is like perfect hangover food. All right, number four, PM Fish and Steakhouse. This place is known for its octopus and its potato souffle. I've eaten some of the best octopus in the world in Galicia, Spain, and in Greece. So let's see how this dish matches up. I'm super excited, I can't wait. I have never been here before. Let's go. So meat and fish. So you have your own wineries in yeah. Mendoza, awesome. So we tour our own wines. So right here we have papa souffles. This is an artisanal dish, takes three days to make. Oh my God, the cheese, the cheese. Mm. And you can eat the whole dish. That's amazing. All right, so here we have the main dish, the octopus. Their signature dish. Wow, like butter. All right, this is one of my favorite octopuses ever. <laughs> this is so good. It's funny because in Miami, it's hard to find good octopus. Yes, it is. This is real. So we came here for those two dishes, but they added the ribeye. I love ribeye, so let's dive in here. I love the fat. Can't beat it. So when you visit PM Fish and Steakhouse, you have to have the octopus, the papa souffles, and this ribeye. I understand why my dad comes here all the time. All right, let's go to the next place. And lastly, we're headed to the River Oyster Bar to try some oysters. We're right next to the Miami River, so why not? Like I said, we're at an oyster bar, so we're gonna eat oysters. We're gonna try 12 oysters. Uh, most of them are from the East Coast, some are from Washington. A dozen oysters, but I don't know which is which because there's no label here. But uh, I know this one right here, this is from Martha's Vineyard. This is what, the wild vineyard right here. Let's try it with some something here. Maybe some of this. The ocean tastes so good. Right here we have your cocktail sauce, cucumber wasabi, and mignonette. I like to slurp it. I love wasabi. Oh my god. Cocktail sauce. I'm gonna do overload on the cocktail. Mm. Alright, I'm gonna eat the one that lands right here. Ah, it's empty. Next one. I think I'm good. A dozen. Carlos, you want one? Guys, next time you're in Miami, come to Brickle, try some of those dishes. These restaurants are amazing. Like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Where have you been?